Dear 7th semester Tripoli stream students, I welcome you all into my another passing package video. Hope you are all doing well. Now you are already aware of my passing packages as you already know. I am not including the numerical part in it. Just because concepts will be same, data will be somehow changed. That is why I am not taking the numerical part into consideration. So for those numerical concepts, you have to cover previous year question papers. Okay, I have taken only a theoretical questions, the most important ones which we will ask in the examination. So in this video, I will be discussing the important questions from your subject, professional elective, industrial drives and applications. Subject code is 21 EE734. So let me start over here with the module first itself. We have some super important questions. So these questions should be at your utmost priority. So what are electrical drives? Draw a block diagram of an electrical drive and explain the parts of an electrical drive. With a block diagram, the closed loop converter feed DC motor drives. Explain the factors on which the choice of an electrical drive depends on. Next one, we have explained modes of operation of an electrical drive. Again, a super important one. Explain the speed torque convections and multi-quadrant operation of a motor driving a hoist load. This is again a super super important question. Most of the times VT has asked this question. Next one we have explained the necessity of mounting the flywheel on the motor shaft in non-reversible drives. Also obtain the equations to calculate the moment of inertia of the flywheel. Seventh one we have what are the advantages of electric drive system and last one we have obtain the expression for equivalent load torque and equivalent movement by inertia of a motor drive with translational and rotational load. So this is all about your model first. So as far as numericals are concerned, you have to refer previous your question papers. The link will be available in the description box. So next one we have model fifth. Explain the self-controlled synchronous motor drive employing load commutated thyristor inverter. Explain brushes DC motor uh, drive for servo applications with a neat process flow diagram. Explain the process flow of textile mill and also list the requirements of drive. List the advantages and disadvantages of stepper motor. Fifth one, we have what are the main features of stepper motors which are responsible for its widespread use. Also mention its, its advantages. This is the 10 marks question. And again, important one, most important one. With systematic diagram, explain the various stages of operation in steel rolling mills. In brief, explain with diagrams, screw down operation in a rolling mill drive. Eighth one, we have with systematic uh, diagram, explain the wire section in paper mill drive and mention the types of motors used in paper per mill drive. Ninth one we have explained torque versus stepping rate characteristics of a stepper motor. Explain industrial drives used for cranes and hoists. So coming to the model second we have with circuit diagram and necessary waveforms explain single phase fully controlled rectifier control of DC separately excited motor most important one. So derive the expression of average voltage. Next one we have explain first quadrant operation of a class A chopper connected to a DC separately excited motor. Next one we have explain chopper control of DC series motor. Fourth one we have with a neat circuit and a graph explain the regenerative dynamic and plugging type of braking system for separately excited DC shunt motor. Right. Fifth one we have with a neat circuit diagrams and waveforms explain three phase fully controlled rectifier control of separately excited DC motor. Sixth one we have explain chopper control of separately excited DC motor. Explain the causes and effects of supply harmonics in rectifier fed DC drives. Suggest methods to improve power factor and reduce ripple in motor current. So this is all about your module second. Now coming to the module four. Explain with diagrams uh, cyclo converter control of three phase induction motors. Next one we have super important one. Explain speed torque characteristics of a synchronous motor with a fixed frequency supply. Explain um, speed control of single phase induction motors. Explain with necessary diagrams the control of induction motors by current source inverter. And fifth one we have uh, explain with a diagram the variable frequency control of synchronous motors or multiple motors. With block diagrams explain various schemes of voltage source inverter control of three phase induction motor drive seventh one we have explained the static chair based drive scheme of sleep power recovery in induction motors explain the operation of self-controlled synchronous motor drive employing load committed thyristor inverter and explain the operation of a synchronous motor field from fixed uh, frequency supply. Last one we have with a neat circuit diagram explain closed loop speed control and converter rating for VSI and cyclo converter induction motor drives. This is all about your module 4. Now coming to the module 3rd we have some super important questions again explain stator voltage control of induction motors, draw typical speed torque curves for variation in stator voltage, explain single phase Explain single phasing of induction motors. Explain variable voltage frequency control of induction motors. 
explain operation of three phase induction motor with unbalanced motor impedances L uh, fifth one we have explained the plugging of three phase induction motor with speed torque characteristics sixth one we have a uh, variable frequency control of inductor motor is more efficient than stator voltage control why so explain ac dynamic breaking of three phase induction motor with two lead and three lead connections so this is all about your super important questions of your professional and active subject okay so make sure these questions should be your utmost priority so this is all about industrial drives and applications so i wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you